Hi everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you this live online class which will be hosted by Stephanie Bernard over at the Stamps of Life. She's going to have this live event on Tuesday, May 12th at 4 p.m. Pacific time. So if you purchase this class kit, you will be able to attend this live event via your computer. You'll be receiving some type of code through your email. We which will enable you to log in and view this live event. And you'll be able to participate using the chat method on your computer, asking any questions that you may have. And Stephanie will be making three cards with you during the class. And you can either watch or you can watch and make the cards as you know it's the events going on or you can also go back and you can view that class as many times as you want because you'll have access to that um, event so once she does it live she will record it and you'll be able to go back and have access to it and watch it whenever you want to but what what you're gonna get first of all this class is called wonderful windmill online class and you are gonna get a stamp set which has a few windmills it has a small windmill and a medium-sized windmill um, some tulips some smaller tulips a larger tulip and there are some sentiments on there and that is your it's a clear stamp set and it is a four by six stamp set you're also going to be getting a die set which is the matching dies to cut all those pieces out you'll also be getting a limited edition windmill fold it which is an a2 size card so you can actually use it as a card itself shaped like a windmill or you can use it on a scrapbook page and you're also going to be getting a couple of stencils. One is the grid stencil, and another one is going to be the large circle stencil. And that grid stencil is actually a freebie that they're throwing in for this Stamps of Life live class. There will be a supply list, so if you do decide to purchase this class, you will be able to go onto the Stamps of Life website and view the supply list so that you can make sure you have everything ahead of time. And I will link the class to this to the description box down below in my YouTube channel so you can head on over there to the Stamps of Life website and if you decide to purchase it the link will be provided for you down below. If you are a Stamps of Life club member you will be able to get a club discount on this class and I will say that the last class that they had sold out rather quickly so if you are interested in purchasing this class, make sure you do so as soon as possible because it is predicted to sell out. I do want to share with you a few cards that I made using the contents of this class kit. Keep in mind that these are cards that I came up with. They're not the cards that will be taught in the live class. This one I have an A2 size card base and this is the Ginger Snap paper cut down to an A2 size, four and a quarter by five and a half. Here I use the dies, the tulip dies and stems, and I die cut the shadow layer and the actual tulip shape out of the lemonade paper, and I did ink blend the edges with the lemonade ink. For this one, I did the same thing, only used the cherry cardstock for both layers, and also ink blended using the cherry ink. And the stems, these were cut with green apple for the shadow layer, and the front layer is cut with the kiwi, and also did the ink blending on the kiwi cardstock with the kiwi ink. I did use the border die and a piece of patterned paper here to cut out a border. And the windmill, this is all die cut. So here I have the Blue Jay paper, and it's ink blended with the Blue Jay ink, and it's layered on a shadow layer of the Ginger Snap. And then I have some more patterned paper here, and these are, these are the um, blades for the windmill. And this patterned paper is from the Blessed Collection, and the blue paper for the sky is from the Hey Friend paper. The green pattern paper is from the dream collection paper pad and i did stamp the happiness blooms from within 
stamp from the stamp set and that's done with the chocolate ink. And I did ink, I did put this up on adhesive foam so you can see how the windmill is in front of the flowers. So that's my first card. My next card, I did make a shadow box and you can see all the tulips in that shadow box. I do have a tutorial on how to make a shadow box that I did not too long ago, which I'll link below if you're interested in that. Um, and then I have, this card actually is using the stamps. So the first card that I showed you, this one, I used just the dies, and this one I did use just the stamps. So the background, that yellow polka dot paper that you see there is from the Spring Basics paper pad. And then I have the hills here. This is all part of a die that comes with this shadow box card. This is a die from the Stamps of Life. These are from the Hip Hip Hooray pattern paper pad. But the paper, it's the actual same paper as this one. So you can technically, if you don't have that Hip Hip Hooray, you can use the same paper pad that I used for um, the hills in this one. I also added a ladybug here, and that ladybug is from the Ladybugs to Love stamp set, and I just colored it up with some Copic markers and put it there on the card. And I did actually, when I said I didn't use any dies, I did use these little grass dies from the die set that came with the kit. And you can see I just put a few of them there at the bottom. So all of these tulips were colored up with my Copic markers. And then I just used my shadow layer and die cut these out. I did use a couple of stitched ovals for the sentiment there in the back of the card and stamped out the You Make My Life Better in the strawberry ink. These ovals are cut with the strawberry paper as well as the powdered sugar paper. And then I also used the butterflies dies and I put a little butterfly here. I actually die cut, this is not a stamp, this is actually a die that I die cut and then just colored it up with my Copic markers and put it on a shadow layer and that way you can, and then notice that the, the um, wings here, I didn't adhere those, only the, one, only the pink ones at the bottom. And I wanted to color up with my Copic markers because I wanted to maintain that consistent look with the coloring. I didn't want to use any papers and do die cutting, so that's why I did do the coloring there. So that's my shadow box, and the shadow box, it actually fold, folds flat. So you can actually stick this in an envelope and mail it. So I think that turned out really cute. So that was my next card. All right, so I also have this card. This was with the Crid stencil. And these were a few of my tulips that I had left over from when I did the coloring on this one. And I didn't want them to go to waste. So I went ahead and used my stencil. The ink that I used, that, first of all, I cut a piece of the pow um, powdered sugar cardstock down to four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then I put the stencil on top of that cardstock and just put some ink on there. I have some green apple and then it blends into some of the kiwi ink. Notice I did not cover the entire sheet of paper so it kind of goes from dark to light to nothing, which I really like that gradient look that it gives. And then I just added these tulips here, just like they're kind of growing on a vine and then stamped out You Make My Life Better directly onto that paper. I did adhere that with some foam, so I put some foam adhesive on that entire layer and stuck that on an A2 size card base and that's just in the um, powdered sugar um, paper. So that was my third card. And last but not least, I have my windmill folded and I just love how this card turned out. Um, this is a windmill and it's shaped like a windmill, it's actual card base. And it's so pretty. Look at the colors. I love the colors that I used here. I did use the chocolate and the cantaloupe paper from the Stamps of Life. And I did ink blend the edges of all of the cantaloupe paper with the cantaloupe ink. And at the bottom here, I stamped out You Make My Life Better on this little die cut piece of chocolate paper and I stamped it out in the powdered sugar, which is the white ink, and I thought that looked really pretty on the front of that windmill. So here I just paper pieced all of these pieces on here, 
the inside is the chocolate and then I just pieced in the cantaloupe paper, the middle on the edges here, and then this strip as well. And I did decide to die cut two more tulips and this is cut out of the um, sunshine cardstock, that's the shadow layer, and then the inside is the lemonade. So it's a little bit different than what you see in this one. This one I did all lemonade. This one I put a darker yellow in the background and then put the lighter yellow in front. The stems are the same as the previous card. It has the green apple in the shadow layer and then the kiwi on the front. And just so you know, when I did this, if you wanted to replicate this card, um, before I attached this top piece to my card base, I actually adhered these leaves on the back side of this layer. So you can see, I don't know if you can really see, that these pieces are adhered to, there's a layer here, and I adhered them to the back, and then I put the entire card base over top of that, if that makes sense. So those tulips are actually hooked on to that windmill, and I think that looks so pretty. So this card actually measures, I'm just gonna go, well, let me measure the windmill for you so you can see how tall this is. The windmill is about five and a half inches tall by three, okay? So if I'm just doing the windmill, it's three by five and a half. Now, if I measure from the top of this, I'm gonna get about six and a quarter inches. And again, that depends on where you place your blades. You can place your blades higher, you can place your blades lower. It's really up to you. And then, um, the windmill, if I just measure from the blade to the blade, it's about four inches. So it will it will most likely need to be put in a larger envelope rather than an A2 size, because this is not gonna fit. And so this is actual A2 size, and you can see how it's bigger than that. So it will need to be put in a larger envelope. But isn't that pretty? You can actually use this as a card, or you can make it for a scrapbook page, but that would be really pretty as well. So here are all of my cards. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.